Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the Horror Burrito. <laughs> I am here with my ghostly crew: Brandon Syme, Josh Reviews Incorporated, Hi. Zach Baby TV, Josh Y Sock, Little Yami, and I am Bumps in the Night. And tonight we're going to be discussing Brandon's choice. We are going to be discussing Halloween Three: Season of the Witch. <laughs> Except for Zach, because he was too poor to rent it. <laughs> so, Brandon, since this was your questionable pick of a movie, tell us a bit about it. Evil man making masks and say, let's murder some children. Okay, yeah, I'm going to take over there. Halloween 3 was the first and only Halloween to not have Michael Myers in it and follow the Halloween chronological storyline, which is just <laughs> jacked the fuck up anyway. They were going to make it an anthology. John Carpenter didn't write for it, but he did produce it. Uh, and it was, it was its own thing, let me tell you. But it had a Halloween ad in it. Yeah, it did have Michael, Michael Myers via an ad. It, Matt, you had an opinion on it? Nice shirt, by the way, Josh. What is it? Thank you. It's a Fuck that. Oh, yeah. To be honest, I didn't feel like this was really a horror movie. It, it felt more like a, like a sci-fi thriller. Sci-fi PI thriller. Yeah, like, like, yeah, mystery, maybe? But it yeah. didn't really feel like a horror movie. Well, it was weird, honestly. The plot was kind of weird, and what really, really, really... I saw a titty! ...was questionable, <laughs> was the sex scene between the old man and the person Oh, God. Yeah, he they still were, got a titty! They were, like, what, like 20 years apart or something? Yeah, she had daddy issues, literally. So, <laughs> yeah, the, the plot was strange. It was supposed to be its own thing. People bitched so much because Michael Myers wasn't in this Halloween. They went out and made another Halloween next year. Like, Michael Myers is back, Halloween 4. But Jamie Lee Curtis was like, y'all, fuck all that. I'm not doing this shit no more. So they're like, she's dead. Yeah. Honestly, Zach, you didn't miss too much. Matt, what did you say you'd rather do instead of watch this movie? Oh, eat nails. Fingernails or regular? Yeah. Doesn't yeah. matter. I'd rather eat toenails than this. So Brandon, what'd you think of the movie since this was yours? We'll go with, like, good opinions first. Go. Okay, I can understand why everyone doesn't like this movie, because it is not a Michael Myers movie. But I always thought the idea of just putting on the mask and, like, watching the commercial with the flashing pumpkin in your face, like, literally, like, just deforms and then you die. Oh yeah, that was the subplot. The season of the witch essentially is an old man who's a witch is using Stonehenge to murder children with magic masks through TV broadcasts. Yeah. Yes. Because of the chip on the back of the mask. Magic. Josh, <laughs> what's one thing you liked about this film? Nothing. Nothing? I can appreciate what they were trying to go for. That's the one thing I can say about it. Okay. That's the only thing I can say. I How'd you like that. the ending? Uh, the ending was okay, I, I guess. I mean, again, when I first saw it and when I saw it again, I just I, I see Halloween as a Michael Myers film only. They should have called it Halloween at all. Like, what part of the ending did you like? Really, just the, when the kids died, I guess? I don't know. Yeah! Murder yeah. of children. We're about that Murder, for yeah. Now. We'll roll your kid up into a burrito and serve him as a side of nachos. Isn't that right, sock boy? No! <laughs> I'm a child! Matt, what did you think of the movie as a whole? What's one thing you liked? I liked all the mustaches. Yeah, Matt mentioned that everyone who had a mustache in the 80s was a man. That they didn't have a mustache, they were a woman. So he was keeping count. Yeah. I like the jingle. But I always thought it was kind of kind of creepy to me. Like... Just the way those kids were smiling in that commercial was when I first saw it. Just the face you make when you find a goosebumps, you're like... I like goosebumps! <laughs> anyway, Brandon, what's one thing you didn't like? <laughs> the sex scene. What?! Where did you say what? <laughs> um. What?! <laughs> Josh? 20 like what? like Zach, like 37. Okay, so like a 25-year-old girl? No, the doctor was 45. What's wrong with that? 25 or 37? Yeah, there's nothing wrong. It was it's perfectly the guy was, legal. The guy was 45. The girl was 24. It was kind of weird. I got 37, but you're close. <laughs> <laughs> 45 and 24. Come on. Hold on. Josh, how old are you? 23. That's like you having sex with a 45-year-old man! 
No, not a man. How is it? Oh, wait. Sorry. If some cougar with, like, uh, you know, sun-kissed breasts rolled up on you and asked you for a hot dog and then, like, put her finger in your mouth and said, let's get it out of my motel, you gonna go fuck her? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna fuck her. Oh. Is that That's a double standard. Are you homophobic? I don't know if she's gonna get it. No. As long as she's over 18, it's full reign, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 25 to 37, that's perfectly fine for people. So what about a sock that's only a year old? What would you raise that in the okay level? What about Zach? You want all these fibers? says every night. Brandon, that's you. I'm looking at it like you have that 10 seconds right now, boy. Bro, get away from the camera. You, you're looking like... Mm, right now. Dude, you're not going to put your eyeballs in the camera. Okay, so how about we stop dissing each other? You're like goosebumps. You can't get away from that. And let's get back to the plot here. So I like the jingle. Besides that... <laughs> um, if we were gonna get into, do you have anything else like critical you can talk about before you go to the reading? Yeah, I don't touch it. Like movie. All right, fair enough. I did. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Not, you not a lot of redeeming quality. And Brandon picked this one, and then when Zach had picked Resident Evil, I didn't like that. So I guess we're all in the fucking train. To be fair, I didn't like Resident Evil. Yeah, I hate that movie. What? That's a good thing you weren't there then, because we, Zach was pissed when we were just like, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a no for me, champ. Yeah, dude, that was like an action movie. He's yeah. got the virus! Dun, 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 dun. Ah! No! <laughs> anyway, um... I mean, I mean, eventually we're gonna have to steer off and go into other genres. It doesn't oh, have yeah. to be horror. No, definitely. And this Are was you... actually... You were saying this was a thriller mystery. This wasn't even horror. It's like a sci-fi thriller mystery? Yeah. With, it was like Supernatural P.I., like Josh said. Yeah. Okay, so let's get into ratings, and then we have some stuff to talk about. So, Brandon, if you're gonna rate this, what would you rate it? I need uh, you picked it. It better be the score. <laughs> yeah, but I just I don't want to do one now because everyone's dissing on the movie. But if really? it's gonna be completely no. If I was gonna be completely honest, yeah, I'd probably give it a six. Probably give it a six. Classic Brandon scored his own movies low. Uh, Josh, what would you name this movie? Uh, maybe maybe four. Four? Yeah. Matt, what would you yeah. rate the film? Honest. Three. Three. Believe it or not, I really didn't like it that much. I'm going to give it a five. And Zach didn't watch the movie, so even though we'd love to count... What would you... Did you watch the trailer at least? Yeah. What would you rate it from the trailer? Probably a five. All right, cool. Let me do some quick math real quick. We'll get to it. I just picked it because I just remember I liked it when I first watched it, but... Okay. Going back, I mean, it isn't as good as, as I remember. I'm gonna round it down. 4.5. So, yeah, this movie, it tried to be something, and it just wasn't it. While we're all here, we're getting close to the holidays. I think it's time that we wrap up Season 2. I think we should call this our season finale, and then we should all have a meeting here sooner than later where we discuss Season 3 because I have some aesthetics I want to change, including how I record it, because right now we're doing the screen cap, which I hate. I want to actually pull it from my computer, and he's going to help me get the software for it. Um, Let's be your puppet! And I want to kind of lay out the episodes so we all know what we're expecting and we can actually get a hold of them, because, like, Zach had trouble getting a hold of this, because we just go, uh, I want to see The Land Before Time, because you look at something and think it. I think that's when someone's choice, uh, we all have to... Like, say, yes, I've seen it, or yes. I could get a hold of it in order for that choice to be approved. Well, again, we'll talk about it in a meeting where I want everyone to pick three movies. That way we each have, that's 15 episodes between all of us. And we're going to vote. We'll watch trailers, we'll look at them, and we'll say yes or no. Because, let's face it, the fucking bay was a waste of our time. I'm sorry, you're my friend. Yes. I respect you. But, God damn, if I could get that night back, I would suck a dick to take that night back. Because my time is precious. So, I think what this is... Yeah. This needs yeah, to be a video process, which we will flatline out as we get together. The final episode for season two will be a Christmas special. Does anybody have announcements before we close out for the season? Starting with Brandon, since this was his pick. I'm going to oh. be going tomorrow County. Fuck you, Brandon. Tuesday. This is Josh. Okay, what? go ahead, Josh. I'll be going to Martin County on Tuesday, so I'll expect a haul review for sure. Um, and just respect uh, the same ch anime and TV show reviews and stuff from the channel. Okay. Are you throwing hot dogs in hallways? What? That's what you're doing? No. You're reviewing how many hot dogs you can throw in a floor? No, son. You no. said a hall review. Like, you just stand down in the hall and go, Ready? And you just chug a hot dog as hard as you can. <laughs> 
Brandon, it's getting hot in here because um, my AC's broken. What is well, your channel announcement? Um, well, after Josh interrupted me, uh, now I'm Sorry. depressed. So, Sorry. Uh, my channel, uh, my channel is getting deleted soon. I don't, I don't know when, but uh, you've been saying this all season. Be, it might not be. Who knows? Um, I know. So if I uh, if I'm not here in like the next like month or so, um, adios amigo. Do you speak Spanish? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Don't me, you're still a biblioteca. Ah, ah, el saco el dico. Okay, uh, Zach, channel announcement. As this is the end of the season. Uh. Nelson, have you finished your submission yet for the Halloween lab? Uh, I have not got to work on it because my AC's out. I mean, you heard before I turned it off how loud this portable unit is, so... I have it written, I just haven't recorded it. No. Do you want to read it instead? Oh. I mean, I'll send it to you if you just want to read it. No, no, it's fine. I, I, want, I want different voices. Okay, then it's yeah. It's fine, the deadline's not until the 28th, so you're probably... Fine. Well, they're fixing it Monday, so, you know, we'll see. I'm gonna take a day or two off, because I'm behind as fuck on projects. Uh, little Yami... So, do you have anything to add to this besides one of these? I don't know how to YouTube. You know this. I know. We're I don't know how to make a channel. <laughs> I'll teach you. Uh, Josh Weissock, even though you joined us late in the season, is there anything you want to tell the viewers before the season ends? No! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, you don't want to say I love you, Dad? No! Well, fuck you too, son! <laughs> also, hey, uh, speaking of your son, we're going to need some child support. We're taking care of this sock puppet. You know how many fucking hot dogs this piece of shit eats a day? <laughs> what you amount of one cup of coffee a day to support me? Um, Please, Dad! And he keeps telling us to... Child support, okay? it, you know what I know I is your son, because support. he keeps doing the same shit. He goes in the fridge, he cooks three hot dogs, he cuts them up, I'm like, how many fucking hot dogs do you eat? He's like, two! And I was like, you made three? He's like, no, I cut them... No, I threw them the ends! And then I just put them together and it's two! So I only had two! He doesn't understand me, Dad! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Alright. No! I'll kill you, no! I swear on my life. I'll be doing more narrations when my air conditioning works and it's not like, uh, in my room. So, you know. With that being said, this has been Season 2 of The Horror Burrito. We thank you for watching. If you want to support us, check out Zach Baby TV's Teespring. We have merchandise. Follow our Facebook page. We got a Discord. We're trying to get Zach to join us for Among Us, but you know he's too busy farting holes in his boxers to play with us. Oh yeah. Oh, hey dad. Uh, Monster truck zoo. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Not. I'm too metal to care. I like monster trucks now. <laughs> Ask your last question before we end the season, White Sock. Hey dad, why am I so stinky? What do you make me? What? You filled me with cold cuts, and you put me in the microwave, and now I feel smelly! I can't get them out! <laughs> <laughs> and that is it. Good night, everybody. Once again, thank you for your viewership. If you enjoyed the episode, I edited it, so maybe go check out my channel, Bumps in the Night. Want to help support us? Don't forget to check out our merchandise, link in the description below. Don't forget to check out our other forms of social media, like our Facebook page, follow our Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Horror Burrito. Well guys, besides our Christmas special, that's it for Season 2. Look forward to Season 3 of The Horror Burrito in 2021.